Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want to see something really cool? So every once in a while something really simple but really cool comes along and I just got to share it with you. Google has an iPhone app. It allows you to search Google and access some of their apps through a free application. I'll put a link to it in the show notes. But they just updated it, changing its interface. Instead of typing, you can now talk to it. So let me show you. Here's the Google application. All you need to do now is hold the iPhone up to your ear and speak the search term that you want it to search for. Macintosh Tutorials. I will then go ahead and analyze your voice and perform the search. Clicking on one of these will then take you to the web page. Now let's try something else. Pizza. Now not only will it use the word that I spoke, but it's also going to use my GPS location to find pizza places that are near me. Now let's go ahead and change where we search. We'll go to Maps and I will try again. Mexican Restaurant. Now it will return a list of results like before, but this time when we click on them, We'll go to the iPhone Maps application and it'll show you the location of the place you search for. There you go. Unfortunately, one of the potentially coolest things doesn't quite work yet. It's the ability to be able to search your contacts. By default, it's set to iPhone and the web, and if you speak somebody's name, it should give you their contact information and basically be one step away from voice dialing. However, it doesn't work with voice recognition. It does work if you type into the Google application. So we know it's just around the corner. Now you can also use this to search for anything that you usually search Google for. So maybe you want to do a conversion or a calculation. Look at episode number 140 of MacMost Now to see some examples. The app also gives you some alternatives. So if you speak something and it doesn't get it quite right, you can click on the button and it will list things that I thought it might have been but it wasn't its first choice. If you like quick little tips like this, you can find more of them in the MacMost email newsletter which comes out every Thursday. You can subscribe to it at macmost.com slash newsletter. I usually include a quick tip and also a featured iPhone application and a featured Mac OS X application that I like. So check it out. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.